Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to go over my Onan 8000 watt quiet diesel generator. Now these Onan diesel generators, they're very similar. This is the 8000 watt. They do have the uh, 7500 watt as well as the 6000 watt. And they also have that little 3200 watt diesel generator that's very common on the Sprinter vans. Now if you've never had a diesel engine or experience with a diesel engine before, what you'll find out is during some cold weather, sometimes it can be a little hard to start up. And that's exactly the problem I've had with mine. Now, when I took delivery of this, it was in warm weather, so I didn't have any issues. But when I started getting in 20 degree weather, I could not get this generator to start. And I've already done all the uh, troubleshooting, and I'll show you what I ended up doing. But it's about in the mid 40s right now, and we're gonna wait until it gets a little bit colder. But let me uh, go over some procedures here. Now, if you've ever had a diesel generator like this, you will know that the bottom, if you hold the bottom button in, you hear that clicking. That's actually the fuel pump. It's not just the fuel pump prime doing the prime cycle. Sometimes people think, this is the actual glow plugs working, but that is not the glow plug function. So this is very important. You want to use this step anytime you change your fuel filter of the uh, generator. Or if you ever run low on fuel in your tank, like below a quarter of a tank, very important to use this function. Then the other function is if you hit the up button and hold it in, you're going to hear that clicking. Now that clicking, what it's doing is, that's not the starter, that's actually just engaging the fuel pump, but also doing the, if you look right here, it's doing the preheat. So a diesel generator is going to have glow plugs. So this generator specifically has three cylinders and there's three glow plugs in here. Same thing for the 6000 watt. In the 3200 watt, I believe that one is only a single cylinder, so one glow plug. So when you hold this in, what there is, there's an actual timer, and the colder the weather is, or the colder the temperature sensor is, that glow plug will activate longer. And there's my generator exhaust right there. And what you will see is, typically if it's warm, it'll fire right up. But when it's cold, those glow plugs will work a little bit longer until that temp And you see that, and you see, and you see how hard it is to start. And this is, uh, I'm talking we're only in the mid uh, 40 degree uh, weather, so it's not really cold. But when that generator kicks over like that, it should actually start immediately. So let's uh, actually get this uh, generator started. And let's see how long it takes. It's an awful long time. So you can see all that white smoke. And that white smoke, what it's doing is, that's basically unburnt fuel. So that tells me right away that something with the glow plugs are not working. So let's uh, deep dive into this uh, generator and see what it is. All right, before we uh, tear into this deeper, I do want to try to start this. It's a little uh, chillier out this morning. Almost about 30 degrees, looks like 29.6. So we'll try to do a cold start on this generator and let's uh, get this started. We'll do the prime first and we'll let this run for about 30 seconds and then we'll jump to the generator start. All right now you can see we're doing the engines doing the preheat and let me see if I can back this out and you'll see how it really acts during cold weather. The colder it is the worse it is so it's about 30 degrees but in the 20 degrees, this thing was almost impossible to start. So you can see, you can see that white smoke. That just signs of, that just signs of unburnt fuel. So we're gonna tear this apart and see what the uh, cause of this is. If I keep repeating that starter several times, three, four times, then my generator will eventually start to a very rough idle and run. So that just means that unburnt fuel just means something is not igniting, the fuel is not igniting. So let's uh, find out what it is. Okay, I did some uh, testing off camera and I got really lucky on this one. So if you look here, right near the uh, start button, there's a little uh, 10 millimeter bolt here. If you take this off, I've already done the fix. 
but we'll go ahead and take this bolt out completely. All right, we got the uh, bolt out. And inside this little uh, service panel here, we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna kind of slide it at an angle. So within here, what you will see is this the actual radiator cap. And you're going to see uh, two fuses. You see one fuse holder right here. I don't know how well the uh, light will get. And another one here. But if you dig deep in the wires, you're going to see this uh, wiring fuse here, this harness. You gotta take this off. And there's a 25 amp fuse right here. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the old 25 amp uh, fuse that's in there. You can look at it closely. It's actually blown. And I didn't see any uh, burn marks or anything like this, so I don't know how this burned. Maybe it was like this from day one, but I know I always had trouble starting this generator. Without this, your glow plugs will not work at all. And without the glow plugs, you know, any uh, diesel generator, they're going to have a, a tough time starting in the uh, cold temperature. So with this uh, fuse changed out, my generator started no problem. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wait till tomorrow, let this... Uh, engine get uh, cold soaked and see how well it starts up tomorrow. All right, it's the uh, following morning and it's a nice and chilly one out here this morning for desert standards anyways. You can see here I have a temp gun. It's about 25 degrees here. A little below freezing so this uh, engine block has had plenty of time to be cold soaked. And I'm not even going to prime. Remember, pointing down is priming the engine. And then going up is the actual glow plugs and starting. So you'll see here, we'll go ahead and start it. That's the glow plugs warming up. And the generator exhaust is right there. So you'll see it's a cold morning. The glow plugs are taking a little longer to start up. There you go. See it started up on the first try, but that's how it should really start up. Of course, it's uh, smoking, it's pretty cold outside, but uh, let me go ahead and shut this off. But that's really how it should start. If your glow plugs are working, in this case, it was just a fuse, but uh, really simple DIY repair without having to take the whole engine apart. Just a little simple fuse under here. Hopefully if you have a problem, that's all it is and it's not something else in your generator, but simple DIY compared to a lot of those other complicated DIYs. Hopefully you like this video, hit that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.